And I guess this is about really all I'm going to record is this, and maybe just the highlights. If I can get a team with an assault rifle or something, that'd be fantastic. For an AK, but an AR with the ACOG or something would be better in this situation, I feel. But I'd prefer to have the M24, the uh, DMR, doesn't have marksman rifle. The, um, the Barrett M107 would be fantastic. Uh, that's in here somewhere. God forbid somebody finds one of those things, you're going to die. Everybody on the server is just going to fall over dead at a mile and a half. And I was using that thing in vanilla uh, armor earlier. More zombies spawning in. There's two there for sure. Oh, hell. Keep an eye on him for sure. Um, let's open up my gear. That's close. All right, now let's reopen this and. Let's drink a soda. Just because I don't want to risk it. Now that is a considerable amount of zombies. And I see some structures off that way that look much, much safer to scav from. So I'm going to go cut down this way across the road and head back up into that tree line. Now, well, fantastic. Well, there's nothing between me and there now, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because if I wait five seconds here, I'm waiting for something to just come hobbling along into eat my face. Because there's apparently stuff that away. I'd rather avoid, and there's also um stuff that away. Uh, that the the other way. And both of them would like to eat my face. So I'm probably going to end up not recording too much more of this, um, unless you guys want. It's definitely fun. It's just I'd much rather have other people to talk with and play to than to sit here and talk to myself. Although, talking to myself does seem to help me with the little bit of paranoia this game gives you. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. Because right now, I'm so worried about getting shot at dying. I don't want to log off. But I want to log off. If that makes any sense. I will. That's a reasonably big town. Now wait, is, is that a runway? I don't know. That looks a little bit too small for an airport. gas station. Alright. Alright. 
We'll approach in slowly here. This looks like a place a lot of guys would uh, scavenge from. Because before I filmed that little teaser where I was being chased by like 400 zombies, which was completely unintentional, by the way. Um, there's a barn and stuff up there. That, that's definitely worth checking out. I found a small barn like the one I was just looking at. And essentially... Someone tell the server that I'm patiently waiting his response. Lol. Alright, so basically, if you get a survive, yes. Okay. Because I'm just, I'm literally waiting for somebody on one of these servers to be like, I'll hook up with you. And That's a smokestack. I'm just really wishing I had, you know, a TeamSpeak buddy, I guess, is the only thing I could really call it. I wouldn't really know what else to call it, to be honest. Um, I'm guessing this is a petrol station up here, or whatever you guys would prefer to call it. Now, this is a railroad, which makes sense, because it's going towards the industrial complex over there in the distance. Um that I was referring to the smokestacks um, way way off um, alright there's one two walkers this was, I was right this was a petrol station three walkers I think most of them are far enough for me to be able to run. I don't want to risk that. I do want to investigate this building, though. I've got a good bit of bandages. I'm the, the only thing I'm really concerned about is uh, my blood levels. So we got a chem light here. Definitely take that. Let's take this marker off bag and this bandage. That seems like a pretty incredible find, to be honest. Um, MP5 SD mag. Definitely take that hunting. Sorry. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but there was a something very close by. I don't know what the hell it is. Scary as hell, though. All right, let's stick that mag in there, cause if I find a silenced pistol, that would be fantastic. If not, um, that's something somebody else can't use. Come on, can you grab that axe for me? Thank you. Um, all right, where's that walker at? Hopefully he was the one I was looking at on my way in. Um, and there's a hobbler there. There's some painkillers, but I think I have some of those. Um, yeah, I, I do. And I think that is enough. Oop, I put myself in harm's way for it. out because there doesn't appear to be large numbers here which is something definitely favorable in my opinion but 
not, um... Not always the best sign for good loot. You're not gonna find good loot unless you have... Lots of zombies trying to eat your balls, apparently. According to that one guy. Cause he's like, oh, unless you, you know, if you're not exploring major cities, then you're never gonna find any good weapons. Well, I like to live, good sir. Alright, let's see. We have a bandage here. Let's see if I can open this up and get rid of... Temptedly behind this crappy Lee Enfield mag that's sticking around. Um, but no. I'll get rid of the M9 SD mags. I don't have any. And I'll just take this extra bandage. Because... Uh, let's get rid of that extra bandage, actually, and let's add that M9 mag back. I don't need that bandage. Bandage. I can. Handle. Wounds relatively well with the amount I already have. There's a walker out in that field. I'm gonna cut back this way, get out of here, go back up near this tree line, probably up in the middle of this plane, and pretty much um, head up the road to this house, possibly. Not sure. I just realized the teaser was the only thing I uploaded today. I should probably upload more. Alright, there's some houses up there instead, actually, which look actually like I can get inside them. I'd rather circle up, push straight to this tree line, see if I can't go up there instead. I'm getting hungry, though. And I've yet to find more food. All I found is, um... drink. So I've been hesitant to eating food. I've just found so many Pepsis and that kind of thing. I don't really care if I pop a Pepsi and waste it. I have a water bottle for that. Alright, there's one walker at least. Now if there's an area I can get inside, I don't mind. There's two. Two walkers. Yeah, let's get up in this tree line here. I, I want to get the hell away from them. Watch the movements when we get up in here. Glad that didn't hurt my leg or anything. I could see that relatively easily breaking my leg and that would have become a big problem. There goes that one guy we saw. And we did see another guy or two in there. Two, three. Not that big of a deal. Okay, four, five. Six. Alright, so one, two, three. Uh, shoot, that's another one. Yeah, if you guys notice this lighting bug right here, that's a little obnoxious. But, alright, overall, I think that house right there, and that outhouse, are probably the best places I could go. But this dick bag's insisting on coming over here, so I'm going to sneak back up. Oh, Christ. I not Did I not hit him enough? I mean There, in the face. Um, did he hit me? I think I'm not gonna bleed anymore if I if he did hit me. 
great. Well, Dickbag McGee decided to load every Zed in the area to my location. <sighs> yup, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Might be able to use this to my advantage. It tur turns out that wasn't an outhouse. Now, this looks like a major city. Um, once again, this is looking like the superior place to search. Um, there's a barn off in the distance over there. That could prove useful. But overall, I'm going to try to go and search this house. And hopefully Mr. Dickbag McGee goes to the front of that house over there and not over to this one. I'm going to reload my pistol again just to double check. Um, Alright, if I'm going to go and do this, it's best to do it now and make it quick. Definitely don't want to get caught out here. All right. All righty. Let's go around the back here. There actually doesn't seem to be anything. Um, I can't really see into this. Yeah. Oh, that music made me poop a little. Alright. I'm gonna go. That barn over there looks. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, voice is getting weak after recording for so long. I've recorded a couple of hours of footage at this point. Um, that barn over there looks like the type of barns that I saw. That dude in one of the videos I was watching, he got a rifle out of one of those. And I'm really tempted to go and get it now. And there's I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I gotta cut through two towns to get there. Or I don't know, let's just go up into here. And we'll see. Alright guys, I hate to leave y'all hanging here, but my voice is getting weak, really weak, and when you come back, I'll probably be dead, I don't know, but thank you guys for watching, and this is the Jin Shadow, in the zombie apocalypse, signing off. Oh god guys, I had to shoot a hopper and he's bleeding like every zombie in this the small town we saw to me. Um... I was going to end it here, but... I... Nope, here they come. Sure enough, there's more. They'll either come in through a door down there, or the one closest to me on my left. Oh God. And then I saw some loot in here. And the 
Zombies right there. Good. Good, good, good. Um. I open my pack. See if I have any room for an extra bandage. I don't. Um. Not even gonna waste it. Waste the space, because I've got plenty of. Plenty of bandages. Um, that's a hatchet. Appears to be some bullets in a bottle of water. Or just an empty bottle. Oh, that's not bullets, it's painkillers. And let's see if this water bottle is full or empty. Um, it's not worth it then. Uh, let's actually head back in here and grab that bandage because I just noticed we we're, we're missing a mag. We can afford it. Certainly, the lighting effects in this game certainly like to bug out. Now, Fortunately, one, he didn't see me. And last time I checked, there's already another Zed. Great. Um, good news. Is that the Zeds are going to where I was shooting earlier? It would appear at least. Bad news is this dick bag's probably going the same way. And I've got to get to those trees. So I'm going to try to just basically run for it. And if I A, get into a shootout and survive, or B, don't get into a shootout and survive, I'm calling it quits for this recording session. Alrighty. Um. Alright, yeah. I'm going to be calling it quits here, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like for my torture and paranoia that I'm choosing to put myself through. Um, and our food is flashing, so we will end this with a meal, um, and we will eat food. Alright, thank you guys for watching, this is the Gin Shadow, signing off.